get her washed, dressed, fed, and I take her to school for now. <laughs> Sometimes she'll come with me to the second session. It used to be alternate running and swimming, but obviously all the pools are shut, so. It's now bike sessions, it's versa climb sessions, it's, it's, it's a boxing session with a run on a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and it's a, a, a strength session with like either a versa or a bike or something in, in later on. She likes it and she likes being in the gym environment, she loves being around Joe, and um, yeah, she thinks she's the number two sometimes. I'll say to them, come on Joe, we'll go in the shop and he'll be like, okay, and just take her to the shop. And she she like says, Oh, you say you can get you can get one thing. She's like, no, Joe, I'm getting two. <laughs> but yeah, but that's the side no one sees the job. But he's you know, he obviously understands that I'm there to work and he, any any stresses that I've got, he tries to take them away and help me out. So he knows that sometimes the baby's calling me, which can be a bit distracting and stuff, and um he he will take her off and or give her a job to do. Um so I can just get on with my session. It has been tough. I mean, I mean, it sounds terrible, but I've actually learned loads about my own child. And you know, when obviously when the schools were closed and she was with me for 24 hours, I had to entertain her. I wasn't in a bubble with anybody. So she was coming to every single session. She was, then we were coming home and we were spending all this time together. And one of the things I struggled with at, at, at first, um, when I got back into the sport, was that I didn't feel like I had enough time. I wasn't, you know, you, you, you're running, like I say, to, to get up dressed fed to, to get to school and then you go away, do your two sessions and I'm rushing to pick her up at five o'clock or before five o'clock. And then you've got like two and a half hours to have fun, feed her, dress, undressed and, and washed and bed. So I, I, I was struggling with that at first because I was like, oh, I'm not getting enough time, I'm not getting enough time. But then when I spoke to other working mums, they they were having the same they were having the same problems so I knew it just when just because I was a boxer or just because I was an athlete that's the same stress as most most mums have and, and she always knew what mum did but she didn't quite understand it she didn't get she thought that mum just went to the gym now she knows what happens in the gym so she she's experienced a lot you know she's seen a lot and she you know there's a um, a medal at the, at the above the fridge that um, when I as she said to me after the half camp did you me did you win and I, I didn't know what to say and I was like not no babe but I didn't lose and then she was like okay and she was like your eye and she gave me a kiss on the eye because it was obviously um, cut ladies and gentlemen after 10 championship rounds here at matchroom headquarters we go to the judges scorecards Ian John Lewis 96 94 Terry Harper John Latham, 96-95, Tasha Jonas. 1-H. Mark Lyson scores this contest. 95-95, we have a split draw. Yeah, I think she gets it now. So she, she, like, she knows that mummy boxes and mummy has to go to the gym to, or work to, to do that. But now she knows what, where I go when I'm at work and what I do when I'm there. Just like any other working mum, I've gone back to work, but my job's a little bit different. I think we've broke down a lot of the barriers and a lot of the um, stereotypes and you know the the issues that we see as a, as a collective so socially. But we are we are breaking them down slowly. I said it to a few lads in the gym today. Crawler made one of them. It's like Tasha 
it might be that film, I forgot the name, Benjamin Button. She's getting younger instead of getting older, Joe, as each year passes on. I hope she'd realise I'm being kind here. But uh, as though she may be getting older in calendar age, but her performances and what she's doing, she's still yeah. improving as though you've got a red hot prospect. Boom, there you go. Good. Okay. <laughs> it's got to be interesting, and that's what I'm say. I, I, I haven't seen the odds. I remember last time for Terry Harper, I think Sky gave Tasha a hundred to one chance every round. That was just ridiculous, and I think they've hopefully learned by the lessons. But it's a great fight. I think we should celebrate what we've got. I think it's the biggest female fight in world boxing at the moment, and I keep hearing what people are saying. It should be top of the bill. I agree, but as long as they get top of the bill money. Lord only knows. I tried to think what Joe would answer to that question, but um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But uh, should it be? Probably. Like, does it does it matter if we're not to, to me and Katie? Probably not. You know, the background that we come from, we've boxed in the Olympics, we've boxed, you know, in world championships, we've boxed. But then we've also boxed in, in little tournaments that have had just the participants there. So it, I don't... I don't think it makes a difference to either. Maybe, you know, she is used to the bigger stages and, you know, Ireland are very, like, um, supportive. I'm not saying that Scousers aren't, but, you know, that she has the whole country behind her when she boxes and she's very popular being sports personality, Lord knows how many times. So she is a very popular person and, and maybe that she is it on. So maybe a slight advantage for myself, who, who it, it doesn't really bother me either, either way. Katie's done good for Ireland as I'm trying to I think the fight, again, which I would do anyway, I feel it is closer than what everyone was saying, but you're judged on actions, not words. So we'll have to see May the 1st. For me, you know, there was, there was always something bringing me back to boxing because as good as me amateur career was, I felt like there was something I hadn't done and that I needed to do. And I think this just draws a line in the sand to that. So for me, it's more about that, and then, then you know, then I will see about what happens next because I, I will just have peace <laughs> and I'll have revenge and all that, yeah, all that stuff. But for me, it's that intrinsic thing that no one else can see or touch. It just really, that that feels that way. <laughs>